Welcome back to The Ref Show. The makeup uh, artists have been busy at uh, <laughs> half time here. You wouldn't have thought there'd been a brawl in the studio <laughs> during part one, and uh, it really kicked off in the bit that you didn't see in between the two halves of The Ref Show. <laughs> Mark Halsey and David Hurst here. I did promise that we'd uh, again uh, come to the subject of diving. Uh, when, Louis, when Wilfred Zahar is involved, there's kind of often a suspicion, isn't there? Mm. Did he or didn't he? Now, there were two occasions to put to you in the Crystal Palace 2, Bournemouth 2 game. Two penalties. Um, did he die for either of those, in your opinion, Mark? I think, uh, looking at the first one, I would say, as he is he trying to deceive the referee, Kevin Friend? And I would say, yes. Very difficult for Kevin, very difficult. Um, but I always say, don't go looking for trouble. I think, you know, you're looking at it, I saw it, I was watching it on, on BN Sports as it was happening, and you can clearly see him, he's already on the floor, and I think he initiates the contact as well with... with um, the keeper, with the, the keeper. With the Bournemouth keeper. Yeah, OK. Yeah, I really, I really so, do, and, and, and you, look, you look at that, and I look at other instances this season... So it's two penalties. So, yeah, but the second yeah. one, I think... It's two penalties. Second one, There's I think, contact. Yeah, right? That's contact. Yeah, but contact but doesn't equal contact a penalty. Is contact. No, he, no, yeah. no, 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 no. There's a difference between contact and a player initiating contact, making contact himself to try and deceive. Well, the keeper's the coming oh, forward, yeah, and on, he's going forward. Let me finish. Who, who makes the contact with who? It's contact. Yeah, the keeper takes his hands away. It doesn't. It doesn't take the ball. He's already on the floor. It doesn't take yeah, the ball. Took, and he's he's made took, contact. He took, he's took his hands away. I mean, you look at you look at that. Okay, and I understand he's not going to be charged, but you look at that incident and look at Nassi. At, um, yeah, same, yeah. at the same Everton at, at, at Crystal Palace, same thing. Mm -hmm. He was charged. Yeah, it, yeah. And there was there was there was contact. There was body contact, upper body contact. But this is what I keep saying. There's going to be contact. Yeah, yeah. It's so, that's the nature of the game. So you either charge. No, one, no. What we've got to do anybody. is have a situation where the referee is helped out in those situations to make the rash decision at at, at the time of happening is. He can't get, always get it right. Well, I hope so. I, and that's where we go and turn around to the monitor and we can well, have another look at it. Whether he's given the penalty or he hasn't, he can go and have a look, either change his mind well, one way or the other. Hopefully, next season, with VAR in, we can, hopefully, we, we can do that. Whether it'll make it as easy as that, but... OK. Is that where you're leaving? That's a bit tame, I thought, that one. Well, I, thought that fair, was, I was told not to shout. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're both, both on yellow cards well, after part I, I think it's an act of simulation, and I think... Um, second one. Lucky to get I think the way he goes down, he, he, he does look a bit false. Yes. Sudden, OK. Yeah, but see, see, just sorry, going on for that, yeah. why, why do players, right, when they're fouled, not go down naturally. Why do they have to put this 9.5 dive in, you know? <laughs> why? Why don't they foul? Go down. Yeah. And, and let's be fair, that's gone on they since the game themselves. began, to be honest, right. when you go down, because you're letting the referee that you Yeah, but you know, I mean, in your you day, know? you never put in these, uh, these, these dives like you're diving into a swimming pool, did no, you? No, no, I mean, but I know foul, people who did. Down. I know people who did yeah. back in the day. I mean, Trevor was, Trevor was a great one, Trevor Francis. <laughs> He learned that abroad, though, he in did, Italy. He as did, well in Italy. and there's an actual game. I think we played Bristol City at home, and I'm going through in the, into the box with the ball. The centre-half comes to tackle me, and I, I go down, and it's a penalty. Mm. But when the camera shows it from the other end, Trevor's behind me, and he goes down as well. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. <laughs> right. OK, well, moving on to the second one. It was a penalty, wasn't it, I, right I, at the yeah, end? Yeah, I mean, I was looking at it on TV. They thought he got the ball. I thought he got the man first. and then, and, But I thought it was a penalty. That now, was, I have to say. I've got to ask you, Ben Teke takes it. He's not the scheduled oh, penalty yeah. taker. Shouldn't have taken it. Annoys Roy, Roy Hodgson. Quite rightly, he's yeah, annoyed yeah. about this. Not, it's not the fact that he missed where it was saved. It's the fact that he took it. Would you, uh, have you, did you ever fair, see that in your I think if it had have scored the goal, I don't think Roy would have been too upset. No. But the fact but he didn't miss it, and he wasn't the given penalty taker, uh, I think it's bang out of order, to be yeah. fair. Yeah. Did, did you I not mean, see Tomkins, his actions? Yes, yes, yeah. I mean, for me, as Roy, as I heard the interview, he said, you know, we designate as the staff who is taking the penalty, mm. and it wasn't him. Mm. Now, should the other players stand up and, and be counting and say, no, I take penalties? Out yeah. of the way, mate. Yeah, if you're the well, other we've seen the you... scuffle before. I think uh, the lad who used to be at Sheffield Wednesday did it. When he uh, went to, I think he went to Bury, I think, on, on loan. Right. Uh, and, and they were fighting each other for the ball. I yeah. mean, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. It should be yeah. designated before yeah. kickoff. Obviously, if the and penalty taker that, goes off, yeah. there's obviously nominated another yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. It's only if it's only if you're leading four 0 and one player's on a hat trick or something that you deviate from that's that. Right. And well, we, the, ball, the way we it? used to do it, say John Sheridan was on penalties, yeah, and I'd be I wanted the penalties as well. Obviously, as a striker, you want to get your goals. And uh, so I would I would no no that weren't my my cup of tea to be fair. <laughs> but I would say to Shares, you know, 
the one that you miss, I'm taking the next one. Yeah. And we'd agree on it that way. Would you? Whatever yeah. you keep scoring, you're the penalty taker. Yeah. When you miss it, if somebody else wants to do it, yeah. that seems fair enough. Rightly so, you let them do it. Keeps the edge of competition. I'd like, to, I'd like to be the fly on the wall in that dressing room on Saturday. Oh. Yeah. No, no, yeah. I, I missed a few. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that. Okay, this uh, the red car challenge in Burnley Watford. Burnley's 1 0 victory. And by the way, what Sean Dyche's doing a fantastic job. Great job, great job. Um, Brilliant. Uh, the, in the words of, well, the one word of Marco Silva, the Watford manager, harsh, harsh, harsh. Yeah. He said it three times. You can watch it any number of times, and it's not, is it? This is. Uh, Marvin uh, Ziegler yeah. and uh, a red card. I think, I think it's Watford's um, seventh red card of the season. So obviously, there's a there's a big, right. big problem there. Yeah. I, I, when when you watch it in real time, you, I, I don't think you can have any arguments with um, Lee Probert's actions of sending the, the player off for serious mm. foul play, endangering the player's safety with excessive force. Some will argue perhaps it was it was a, it was a cautionable offence, but it was, it was off the floor. Yeah, he's, it was he's, off he's, the floor. He's, he's out, he's out of control. Are. He's out of control. And when you go to ground, you're not agreeing, when, when are you, you, are you both agreeing? Yes, but this one sounds uh, you know because that is reverting back to the previous one. I, I you know that is a chance of breaking. Haven't you like, read the contract for this show? <laughs> <laughs> you're not supposed to. Agree. That could break somebody's. You know, like like Mike says, you know, you, you're off the floor. You're, you're out of control. And anything can happen. Once again, you run the risk when you make those sort of challenges. You're asking. Yeah, yeah. You're asking the referee. Asking questions of the referee. Okay, I, I understand. As a player, though, there's yeah. times when you're trying to get to that ball as quick as possible, and through the air, he's quickest. Yeah. Well, we move on to a red card challenge in the championship, and I know you both saw a very thrilling game on the Friday night. Sheffield United one, Bristol City two. A younger, up-and-coming referee, David Coote, in mm. charge here. And John, big turning point of the game was John Flex uh, mm. sending off uh, for Sheffield United. Your your S silly you're challenge, and there's always that. Risk when you when you miscontrol the ball, yeah, yeah. Um, and you're putting in that sort of challenge. And I, I think you know he, he looks at he look at him. He re he regrets it. There's no complaints about the red card. I thought David Coote refereed the game yeah, yeah. really really well. I mean, two of Bristol City's goals came from uh, fantastic advantages. Mm. You know, textbook advantages, and and that's how to referee a football match. Yeah. But it's good to see David Coote back refereeing because obviously he's been out for quite a while. There've been one or two problems mm -hmm. off the field, um, but he's he's one that. I'd like to see elevated up into select group because we, you know, we need to repl start replacing some of the older referees in the select group. One. Mm. Well, I only saw this this game, the incidents once because I was actually there uh, for, for Talksport, watching it in real time from some distance. The one query I had when Jurich, the big striker for Bristol City, came on a substitute, there was a an elbowing incident quite early on. He got yellow carded. Was that borderline red or not? Yeah, I've no, only seen it, it from it the wasn't, distance. It wasn't violent. What you got? What you got? A, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all about recognition of offences, and it's was it was it a violent use of the, of the arm or was it reckless? If it's I reckless, don't know. you it, tell it, me. It, what well, was I thought it was. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah, think it was, I I mean, it was reckless. Again, I mean, it was fine looking, lines. looking at the ball. It's fine. It's fine yeah. lines. It's fine lines. And the top referees that have that art of recognition of offences, and yeah. I, for me, it wasn't a red card. It was a reckless. It's like a, t a reckless challenge. Yeah. A tackle. It was a reckless use of the arm. And Let's the move, on, move on to another red card in the championship. This was from two yellows. This is Wolves nil, Sunderland nil. Jeremy Simpson's in charge, mm. and this is quite remarkable. It was in the 62nd minute or thereabouts. Lee Catamol picks up two yellow cards in 54 seconds. I repeat, mm -hmm. two yellow cards within a minute, and he's off. Now you know this player. I know him very well. I've cautioned him on many, many occasions. <laughs> yeah, that's not helping his case, <laughs> is it? Really? <laughs> no. I think sometimes. I think sometimes you think it's referee. <laughs> You've got his number already ticked <laughs> yeah. off in the book, so yeah. you ain't safe time. It's <laughs> the so, ninth, but, ninth but, red card but, of his but, career. But, nine. It was not as much bad as Sergio Ramos in, in the La Liga, no. but. Um, it, it leaves one of those players that you've got to get hold of and you've got to manage. Yeah, it's all about you managing the game, managing the occasion and managing the players. And that's an art. And mm. you know you know what Lee's like. Before you go onto that pitch or when he comes on the pitch, you just say, hey, Lee, just calm yourself down, behave yourself, don't be yeah. silly. And you, you're talking to him all the time, you're getting him on side. So he doesn't make those challenges. Would, yeah. would a referee do that? As in, yes. say, the, say the first... Uh, I, I haven't seen the two incidents, but say on the first one where he where he cautions him. Yeah. Uh, on that, would he would he say to him, "Hang on a minute, Lee. You know, I've you've just got caution, so be careful for a bit." Well, do you think yeah, that would be know, common you sense? Would, you would, yeah, you'd you think would, it is, but obviously not. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, so I mean, that's the bit that surprised me. Uh, you know, to get him so quickly. Yeah. I mean, you know, you've just, just been both. The referee should have an eye on you. Just a minute left of the show. Thanks, Hursty. Just to mention the performance of Alan Chapman, who was in charge of the MLS. Cup final in America. Toronto, congratulations, beating Seattle Sounders by two goals to nil. Sonia Denoncourt, member of the URRF team, blogged this uh, game and was uh, impressed with uh, Alan Chapman's performance. And VAR was, is in operation yes, in, in America. There was a really tight call, but apparently it didn't 
have to be used as uh, Josie Altador went through for the first goal on 62 minutes, which was a killer, crucial goal. And he just just in line, so it was a good call. Yeah, I think um, Alan's had a good season and, and, and uh, a worthy um, candidate to referee the, the final. Well and done. there was a huge celebration, but I don't think he quite went into the crowd out the door. <laughs> but well, the he and his teammates, the yeah. <laughs> they all came, they all came forward, and he was certainly on the touchline. And yeah. there were great scenes. But as you, we can all agree that we don't want to see spectacle taken out of football or indeed out of TV programmes do we? The oh, spectacle is important. Yeah. Well, I so need mine. We're going to spare you. <laughs> it's, got, it's gone to the FA but they've uh, they've exonerated you. Just a warning letter <laughs> and you'll both be around for future ref shows. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>